because there is a lot of background to fill, I'm going to get a rather large brush, but it's um, an angle brush, so I can get a little bit um, smaller areas with that tip. So I'm gonna put some black on my palette and just start painting away on the, the canvas. So I'm switching over to a smaller brush now so I can paint around these small areas. So I've put some dark green, some aqua, some white, and a little more black on my palette. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to add um, just a little bit of this retarder gel. And what the retarder gel does is it prolongs the drying time of acrylic paint because acrylic paint dries very quickly and that will give me time to do some blending and um, almost have it look a closer to oil so what i want to do is i want to take some of this retarder gel and mix it in each of these um, i'm going to start from the back and work this way So um, you can kind of see that I um, painted over the scales with black. Um, and the reason why I did that is because I am going to, I've decided I'm going to remake scales using a, a plastic bottle. And um, what I want to do is, um, glue them on and give that an extra um, 3D kind of effect. And as I work closer to the middle of the drawing, I'm going to now start adding some of this lighter aqua to the middle. And kind of work back and forth between the dark green and that light aqua to allow it to mix a little bit. I want to work around his arm because obviously I want to paint that separately. I'm going to on this head section, I'm going to make it this lighter aqua. But what I want to do is because I still want a little dark on top, I will paint the aqua in first. And then I'm going to just touch the dark green and just, just put a little bit on the top there. I'm going to make the ends of his ears here um, darker too. And I might want to switch for this part. I'll probably switch over to this pointed brush. And start working back into the light aqua, mix that a little bit, and put a little white on the top of his ear. Let's get that really light on the top. Because this transition's hard, I um, wipe my brush off again and just kind of Go over that area 
to blend it in a little bit, just make the transition a little softer. So I'm gonna make the back of this ear here a little bit darker. So I'm gonna take some of that dark green And that dark green is what is going to make this other ear really stand out since we made it white on top. We're going to know that this back here is something different. Um, I want this mouth area to be much lighter. I'm going to rinse my brush because I've got a good amount of dark green on it and I don't want too much dark green. Or you can even just wipe off your brush. And I'm going to get... Um, a little of this white and maybe just grab a tiny bit of the aqua and just work it in this area here. We want a really light mouth. Um, maybe grab a little of the dark, mix it with the light and just get the bottom of the mouth here. Here I may need to add a little more dark paint back in. And a little bit right here. Got a little bit too light in this area. And I'm going to add a little more light white paint to the top of his eyelid. Get that really light. That way it stands out a little bit more. For his chin, I'm gonna do something similar to what I did here. I'm gonna take that white paint with the, just grab a little of the aqua and just paint his whole lower chin here. So as I transition this way, now I can start grabbing my regular aqua paint and kind of transition that in slowly. Blending it back and forth from the lighter to the darker. And here I'm working back now into this dark color. And what I want to do also is take some of this dark green and we can even touch the black and just go right under his mouth to create a little shadow under his mouth. And kind of behind his tooth, there should be just a little shadow behind his tooth, almost under it. And I'm going to use that dark paint to recreate his mouth or his lip here. Because I had painted over it. And just wipe my brush off and work that dark. Blend it a little bit to get it a little smoother. Now 
Now down here, I'm going to make it a little bit darker under his chin. And right below that, I want it kind of dark here because his chin should have kind of a shadow right under it. So I want to get that dark green and even just a, a hint of the black just right under there. I'm going to move on into his belly and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to keep it very light. I'm going to grab some of that good amount of that white with a little of the aqua and just start painting his belly. My paint is drying, so what I want to do is take my water. Um, this is just a bottle with a um, spray bottle with a little tap water in it, and just spray, just lightly mist once one little mist of my paint. So I'm getting pretty close to being done with the monster, and I want to go back and just add. Um, little small details and clean up these areas where I went over the black too much and just clean up. Now I've got a dry small square brush. I'm going to take some of this shimmer aqua and I'm going to paint a few scales on his back. So let's just test out a scale here. As you can see, I'm trying to create some abnormal scales. So I'm going back and forth and going from like a thicker size to a smaller size here. Now I'm gonna, I realize I need to fix this wing because this is the backside of the wing, I shouldn't be able to see the inside of it. We should only be able to see the inside on this one because it's facing us. So I need to get some dark green again. I'm just gonna get a little dark green and I'm just gonna paint this wing right here. And make that dark that way we can't it's gonna look like the back side of the wing instead I'm going to use this plastic water bottle to make some scales for my monster I have an ex um, a preci precision knife to poke into this um, bottle because I don't have scissors with I don't have pointed scissors I only have scissors that are round so now that I've got it started with my X-Acto knife, I can cut out a piece of this bottle with my scissors. And then what I can do is cut out a, um, a scale for my for my drawing and I can kind of just guesstimate here first on how big I think it should be. So I cut out several scales here, one, two small ones right for the top of his head. I've got some larger ones back here and I even made a few really small ones for the, the back of his arm and a couple for his tail too. Now I have some of that same shimmer aqua I used um, to paint the scales on my actual painting. And now what I'm gonna do is actually paint these plastic scales I made as well with that same shimmer paint I used before. If you are having trouble holding your scales 
while you're painting, I just hold a corner of the scale, paint over, and then eventually go do another layer and cover the spot that you were holding. While I'm waiting for my scales to dry, I've plugged in my hot glue gun and I've got some cotton balls here that I wanted to glue um, into the clouds. And what I'm going to do is for these smaller parts, I am going to cut the um, cotton ball to fit. Now to be able to do, to start gluing these on, I will have to remove this um, painter's tape right here. So I wanna just slowly get it started and um, I just remove it kind of at a diagonal and just do it slowly so you don't rip your paper. And so now I will start gluing my cotton balls down um, using some of this hot glue. And you wanna kind of place it out first you could put it on the cotton or you can put it directly on here too. So I've glued on all my cotton and now I've placed out my little scales that are dry now and I'm just going to put a little glue on there right where I want to put it. and just glue down all my scales. The last thing I'm going to do here is I have a piece of white chalk and I'm going to kind of just draw um, like a little smoke coming out here. Kind of showing he's uh, quenching his thirst. And that's it, you guys. I'm going to remove the rest of my tape. You guys are welcome to add any other objects and things that you can think of to your mixed media monster. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video.